Oh, I'll get it. I told her not to come. Catherine, what are you doing here? I heard about Louise, and I want to see my daughter. You shouldn't be here. Why not? What is she doing here? Uh, she has a right. I didn't ask her to come, though. I don't care. Well, you won't even talk to me now? Martin, I'm not interested in anything you have to say. Well, you... Martin. No, please, Catherine. Just leave me alone. I have nothing more to say to you. I've heard Pilar enough already. We uh, haven't had much of a chance to talk since you've been home. I've been busy. I see. So, uh, what are your plans now? You know, I'm sorry that I never had a chance to meet this girl, this charity. Oh, no, from what I hear, you could have been home years ago. Miguel, the situation was complicated. I wanted to come home. It killed me every day not to be here for you when you were growing up. I missed you all very much. Yeah, and now you're home. Yeah, she... Breaking poor mama's heart all over again. Listen, Miguel, it's not... I was at the mansion thinking. tonight. I was upstairs. I was the big surprise to make this whole family thing complete. What a joke. It wasn't supposed to turn out like that. You no, know, Teresa's right. You're nothing to us. You broke my mom's heart all those years ago, and you did it again tonight. I can't believe you'd sleep with your mistress the same night you were going to renew your vows. No, it wasn't like that. I didn't sleep with Catherine. Your mother misunderstood. Now, I've been trying to explain this to her, but she won't listen. Good for her. God, you don't know what it was like for her. You left her all alone to raise five kids with no money so that you could run off and live the high life off some rich woman's money. It wasn't that way. And how could you leave your family like that? I was just a little kid. How could you do that, you bastard? Leave your wife and kids to run off with some whore? Son, I will never forgive myself for what I put you all through. Never. You don't deserve forgiveness. No man who abandons his children deserves forgiveness. Is that right? Even you? What? What, you left town to go look for charity. You left Kay alone to raise your daughter. It's not the same, and you know it. I wasn't married to Kay. I didn't love her, and I didn't leave her in the lurch. I sent her checks every chance I got to help raise my daughter. And I was in love with charity then, not Kay. And now? Are you still in love with this girl? Well, if Charity wanted to be found, I would have found her by now. I'm home for good. To make a go with Kay, right? No. Kay's engaged to Fox. They're going to get married. But I plan on being here every step of the way to help raise my daughter. OK. That's good. And I'm sure you'll make a wonderful father to Maria. I love Maria. I want to make her happy. I want to make up for all the time I've lost with her. Well, that's all every parent ever wants for their children, love and happiness. It's what I want for you, Miguel. And you know, make up for the time that we've lost. I don't know. So listen, I've made a lot of mistakes, but please don't cut me out of your life. Give me the chance to make things up to you best I can. Can't make any promises. God, what's wrong with this family? Why does everything have to turn out so badly for all of us? I don't know. But I think we both have a lot to answer for. <laughs>